hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is autumn and before we get into this video i just want to thank you guys for spending some time with me for watching my video if you guys like my content please like comment subscribe let me know what other kind of content you guys want to see and i don't want to make this video too long so let's just get into it it's gonna be a sephora vib haul i got quite a few things so let's just get into it <laughs> okay guys so in this haul i did pick up some things for my sister for her christmas gift normally i always buy her makeup whatever i'm just gonna go through that stuff really quickly just to show you what i got her and then we'll get into my haul because it is kind of large i was trying to wait to do this video until i got my order there's like three things in that order it's not huge um but when I ordered Sephora said it would be here yesterday and I don't have it so we're just gonna do the video and I'm gonna let you guys know what was in that order so let's just get into it okay to start you guys I did pick my sister up this hydro grip uh, melt primer set it's called the disco day set so it comes with a melt hydro milk hydro grip primer and the milk hydro grip setting spray I picked myself up one of these as well Mine is already open on my desk, but you guys know the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is like a cult favorite. I tried the Hydro Grip Setting Spray and it is very hydrating. I think my sister will love it, but for me, it's hydrating. <laughs> um, next, I picked up this Kosas Cloud Set Powder in Pillowy for her as well. And then I got the Patrick Star turn up the base versatile foundation powder and i picked her i picked it up in the shade for her medium for golden she's a little bit deeper than i am depending on the day um but i think this will be a good shade for her next i picked up two of the sephora best skin ever foundations for her and then i picked up the anastasia magic touch concealer for her in the shade 10 and I picked her up one other thing but that is in the order I have one for myself as well so I'll show you guys and that's like part of her gift okay so let's get into everything that I got I'm gonna try to go through this quickly I have most of it outside of the bag so that I could just pick it up and talk about it so let's get into it Okay, so first I picked up this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Matte Setting Powder in the shade 2.0 Banana. Um, it comes with basically like, not basically, it comes with a puff. I have used it. I used this powder yesterday. And it is very, very matte. Um, matte to the point where my under eyes felt pretty dry. Now, I might try it on my face and not my under eyes. I might try it again, but I also may exchange it for another powder I picked up in this haul that I do prefer so far more. But yeah, I did pick up that. Let's go through powders first, because um, I picked up quite a few powders. Um, so next, I picked up this One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in Translucent. You guys, this powder, I don't know what Patrick Star put in this, but I, I'm wearing it today and I wore it um, a couple of days ago. This powder is gorgeous. This is the powder I'm considering um, exchanging the Makeup Forever one for. It's so smoothing, it's so brightening, it's not drying, and I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, it's just a translucent powder. I'll show you guys very quickly what it looks like, if you could see. It's just a translucent powder and I don't know what he did with it I have the original um, when he collabed with Mac with a pout for the powder I worked for Mac so I have that powder and I wasn't a huge fan of that powder but that one Patrick Star did that okay um, 
When I say I bought a lot of powders, I bought a lot of powders. So I picked up the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder um, powder. <laughs> And I just picked this up in a lighter shade, so I picked it up in 2N. This is what I have on today. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm obsessed with this powder. It's like a big gelée powder, and it doesn't look powdery on the skin. This is my other one. This is 3N, and I have used this powder to death. I'm about to hit pan on the center but I am a little bit lighter right now so I just needed a lighter shade and I feel like when I get a little bit more color I can mix the two and then summer I can use 3N so I just picked up a lighter shade of that one okay a couple more powders you guys <laughs> a couple more powders so I picked up two of the one size turn up the base versatile powder foundation now I have two of these because I picked up one originally and I used it the first time and I was like shook you guys it is so good so I went and picked up a backup because I do see myself going through this powder I have used this so many times um, and I wear the shade light for G it's also why I picked it up for my sister because I was like he did something with that powder <laughs> So next I picked up the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. I picked up two of these as well in the shade Cushiony. Um, now with this powder, same thing. I picked it up the same time I picked up the Patrick Star One Size. And I fell in love with this one as well. I love how yellow this powder is. There is no orange to this Cushiony powder in you guys so smoothing so pretty on the face 100% recommend this powder and in case it breaks because it is a baked powder so if you drop it it might crack um or anything I run out of it I just wanted a backup of it because I do see myself going through this powder like fairly quickly because I'm not obsessed with it okay so next let's do concealer so I picked up three concealers I picked up the Kosas super creamy and brightening concealer in the shade 03w let me show you guys this is a very yellow concealer and it's very light um but it works well for me I've tried it once and I liked it but I want to try it a couple more times um just to see because it is very creamy um I believe there's like an eye cream in this so it's very creamy and it creased on me a little bit so I'm gonna try it again um, but overall I did like it it's very hydrating next I picked up the one size turn up the base butter silk concealer I have this on today you guys and when I tell you they did something with this concealer It is so good. I wear the shade Light 3N. Um, I've worn it twice. I wore it yesterday as well. And so, 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 so good. So far. After wearing it twice, I think it's really good. I have a, a background in makeup, so I can normally tell fairly quickly if I like a product. And that one is so good. And last. So many people were raving about this so I picked up the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. This is so good as well. I picked up shade 5. It is very full coverage, very creamy, um, and the packaging is just very pretty. Anastasia normally has really good products so that's why I picked that up for my sister as well. Um, I think she'll really like that. Okay, next let's do foundation or foundation type products and one of the products I picked up that is in my order was a foundation so I'll touch on that quickly I picked up the Shiseido Synchro Skin um, self resetting foundation like the matte one not the luminous one and I picked that up in the shade Oak so I will be trying that out it's, it's an older foundation so if you guys want a review I'll do it if not it's cool <laughs> i get it um but i also picked up the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation in the shade six 
you guys I have this on today and I wore it yesterday this foundation is gorgeous I can see why it's been around what for like 20 years or something uh, this is like medium coverage wears all day perfect natural finish I'm obsessed I definitely if even if I don't go through this the next VIB sale I'll be picking up a backup of this foundation and I'll probably pick it up for my sister on the next VIB sale as well she just likes a little bit more coverage so I'm not sure if she'll love that one but we'll see okay so next I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter foundation you guys know this is more of like a well some people wear it as a foundation but for me I put it on today under my foundation as kind of like a glow product I didn't put enough on to give me coverage but I actually really do like this product um, for me having combo I do get a little bit shiny in my t-zone um, skin it has held up like I don't look greasy I don't look oily I just look like I have like this paired with luminous silk you would think that maybe somebody who's not dry or normal would look greasy or oily but no this just gives you the perfect lip from within like adult you know sophisticated glow and I picked that up in the shade for medium okay so then I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation um one of my friends recommended this to me Jamelia if you see this um so she recommended this to me a while ago and I never picked it up and I finally did and I picked it up in shade six I have worn it and when I say this is a gorgeous foundation it is like I wore it when I was going out and it's so smoothing but it is full coverage and it is matte not a super drying matte but it is matte but gorgeous you guys very full coverage very smoothing just a pretty foundation okay <laughs> I'm like out of breath um, the last foundation I picked up was the Sephora best skin ever foundation Sephora products were 30% off during the sale and I seen people raving about this and the hype is real so I have worn this I've been doing my makeup a lot more lately um, and it comes with a pump which is good um, and it's gorgeous it looks like skin it wears all day it doesn't get greasy it just gives like I almost compare it to the luminous silk foundation it's that good you guys it is so good that's why I picked my sister up two of them I wear the shade 21.5 Y and I'm obsessed with it I didn't pick up two of those for me because I have so many foundations I wouldn't go through two of them before like the next sell so that's why um what do we want to do next let's do blush okay so I picked up the Patrick Ta Four face major headline blush palette I'm sure you guys have seen this all over I have worn it it's gorgeous everything people say it is 100% percent 100% recommend if you can get your hands on it I'm not gonna open it cuz I'm trying to get through the video you guys <laughs> next I picked up the Patrick Ta she's so LA um, major headline double take cream and powder blush I'm sure you guys have seen this as well I have used it this is me in a blush tone let me open this one because it's it's a little bit of an older product um but yeah it's just this bronzy brown blush and it's gorgeous gorgeous okay I have two more blushes <laughs> so I picked up this Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Melting Color Balm for the cheeks and eyes and I picked this up in shade 30 warm coral I was really not like this blush was not on my radar I was walking through Sephora and I seen them and I touched this one and I was like and it was just my luck they had one of this color in stock that's it I looked online because I was like mm, let me think about it sold out and I left the store without getting it and immediately regretted it and I called them back that night and I had them put it on hold and I went and got it the next morning so this is it it is in the shade 
30 warm coral and you guys this blush is stunning they are very expensive but I'm a, I'm just say they're worth it if you could get your hands on it they are worth it it is stunning I have worn it I am obsessed with it that color this color is perfect for fall summer it's just a perfect warm brownie orange it's just gorgeous you guys and the last blush I picked up, it's, it wasn't as packaging, but I just took it out, is the LYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in Kindness. This is the blush that I have on, and it is just this perfect, like, soft, peachy, gorgeous blush. Um, this is one of the products that was in the order that has not come yet. I picked it up for my sister as well and lys is a black owned clean beauty brand the first black owned clean beauty brand at sephora so i had to show so show some support um and it's gorgeous you guys i've had this blush on since 7 30 this morning with no touch-ups and i took a nap so it's it it's it and I picked up another one for my sister before I even tried it because the color was just that pretty are we almost done yes okay so I picked up the Pat McGrath labs I'm sure you guys know what this is this is the mothership mega celestial odyssey palette I'll open it for you guys really quick um, I am a Pat McGrath collector I have all of her motherships and I have her celestial divinity from last year so I had to go ahead and pick it up I'm like a completionist so I had to get it you know <laughs> and two more products you guys two more products yeah so I picked up this Patrick Star until dawn one size mattifying setting spray when this says matte you guys are not kidding the setting spray is matte i'm kind of on the fence with it normally i use my charlotte tilbury uh airbrush flawless setting spray but i wanted to try something new but this is matte i tried it yesterday and i was like you know that like when you're like <laughs> when your just face feels like tight it's so matte this gives you that feeling so I'm not sure how I feel about this yet if you're oily you'll probably love this okay but for me with my combo skin it might just be a little bit too mattifying and last but not least I picked up this Sephora uh, cream lip stain in O2 it, oh no in 32 I'm pretty sure it's called nude blush um this is what I have on my lips today. I love these very like light concealer nude shades. I just pair it with a darker brown, like a medium to a dark brown lip liner. Gives me my perfect nude. I love the Sephora cream lip stains. I actually have a video on my channel from years ago trying on a bunch of them and my feelings are still the same. I love the Sephora cream lip stains. They are second to none. You guys are so good. Um okay and the last thing that was in my order was the lys bronzer matte bronzer in the shade confident so i had the lys blush the shiseido synchro skin foundation and then the lys bronzer now that was everything i think the only other thing that i picked up that i didn't physically show you was like my milk set this little set um but I picked it up. I have the primer on today. I've used this primer for years. Uh, um, a dupe for it is the Elf Dew Jelly Pop Primer. I love this primer as well. Um, but the Milk is the OG, the original, and the set was a really good deal with the discount. So I picked it up for me and my sister. And that's it. <laughs> That is everything I picked up in the Sephora VIB cell. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Let me know if you have any other questions. My background will be changing some. The flowers have changed from my last two videos. And then I do have, if you watch some of my old videos, I have like hanging lights. I just haven't hung them yet. 
um, but those lights will probably go up and that's really it let me know what else you guys want to see let let me know down below the stuff that you guys picked up I went a little crazy but I haven't done a Sephora haul in a long long time and the sale was the perfect time and I had to get my sister's gift so yeah that's everything thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys God bless you and bye